Hi there. So we, um, we started a company about five years ago, and we started it out of, um, or based on a technology that was spun out of the MIT uh, Media Lab. And the technology essentially was designed initially to help kids on the autism spectrum better understand emotion and better, as a result, convey emotion. And the way that this technology kind of lived within the MIT Media Lab was interesting, right? So they have these, these sponsors that come to the MIT Media Lab, and they, and they look at the technology that's being built, and they're kind of helping and funding in that. Um, and they, they look at these new, these new and innovative uh, technologies, and they think of ways that they can, make, they can use it for themselves. Um, so a couple of years after it was created within the Media Lab, these companies said, look, we really want to try and understand you know, our consumer behavior, our consumer kind of emotional engagement with our products, with our brands, with our messages. Um, can, we, can you do something about making this a commercial product? And that's when we spun the technology out of the lab to a real company um, that was venture-backed and, uh, and stands alone today. Um, so, so really, what, um, what I'm here to talk about is kind of what we've done in the past couple of years um, and then also talk a little bit about what we plan to do moving forward. So just right now, the technology really kind of is focused on media, media analytics. Those are the first kind of markets that um, presented themselves to us as being interested in using this data to, to help understand you know, their consumers, like I said. Um, they were dealing with, I guess, an, an issue uh, related to legacy methods of collecting data and understanding consumer emotion. And this is a little example of what they were dealing with. Oh. Can we start the video? Anybody? There's anyone at all. Any, any thoughts? Again, <clears throat> we are talking about the, the cover, the cover of the book. Mm, I like it. You like it? Great. Terrific. Anything more specific? Uh, I hate it. Hate it. Jenna hates it. Actually, I didn't really like it. He has changed his opinion almost immediately. Yes. Um, Jenna, if you had to, you know, sort of describe. I don't like red. Um, it reminds me of my mother-in-law. She was a really horrible person. She liked red, so I just don't. And now she's dead. So. Okay. Anything more relevant to there? I agree with Jenna. About her mother-in-law. About everything. So obviously a bit of a spoof, but, but it, does, it does speak to the point of people having a hard time articulating how they feel or how they think they feel, um, and then being able to you know, convey that information in a format that allows people to benefit from it, make decisions, and, and ultimately try to improve things. Um, so you know, consumers don't respond um, consciously or explicitly. They, they respond intuitively. Um, and here is a, a great quote from the, the father of, of advertising. Consumers don't think how they feel, say what they think, or do what they say. Uh, and David Ogilvie sums it up really well there. And, you know, at the end of the day, studies have shown that 50% that of buying decisions are driven by emotion. So, so that's where the opportunity was for, for us to, to bring a technology uh, forward that, that didn't rely on, on self-report, asking the questions, um, and it didn't rely on bringing people into a laboratory environment and, and plugging them up to wires and having them studied by, by, by people in white coats, um, because that's just not a natural environment, right? That's not how people live, and that's not how people, or the environment that people are in when they make decisions. So what we created is a technology that, again, is based off of that, that technology that we spun out of MIT Media Lab that essentially taps into the webcam or, the, or wherever there's an optical sensor, wherever there's a camera. We have the ability to activate that camera on an opted-in basis, so no one's ever being recorded without knowing it, but wherever they are. So if they're, they're on the street with their iPhone, if they're walking, if they're on the couch with an iPad, if they're behind a computer, um, we have the ability to, to, to insert our software code into those platforms to be able to allow for that camera to be turned on, for data to be collected, and then analyzed in the cloud and processed against all the other data we have to return back to our clients 
a, a reading of the emotional response, levels of engagement, levels of attention um, that, that we're collecting uh, to help them better understand how, client, how users are reacting. And so I guess the best way to do it, to, uh, to show, since this is the demo section of the, uh, of the day, is to just show you um, how this works. So here we have a, um, your basic iPad. And this is, a, this is a demo app, essentially. It just, it's built to show how our technology works. So when we're, when we're embedded into a platform, what's happening in real time is you see the, you see the kind of brow raise, brow furrow, smiles, lip depressors, kind of activators, um, read the, the, the facial expressions as they're changing, right? And so what, what's happening behind that then is a, is a kind of calculation, an algorithmic understanding based on our PhDs back at the office of this data and how that maps back into true emotional states. And so that then allows, again, our clients to be able to, in real time, inform on what exactly is happening, how people are reacting, and to use that data to optimize and improve the, the environment that 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 user is in. Another quick demo is something more, re more kind of uh, in line with what's being used today in the, in the uh, kind of advertising world, which is just a kind of a look at a view of an ad. And my emotional response Billy, as use the, the cleaner. Touchdown. Yeah, it only works with Doritos. Why only Doritos? You ask too many questions, Billy. Hmm. So I had a medium level of engagement with that. I think the ending kind of ruined it for me, actually. Um, So back to the slides. So that's how our clients are using the, the, our technology today, and it's, it's really useful for them. I mean, they use it in a variety of, I mean, this is just an example of how we, you know, we use it just a few times with certain clients, but we use it in just a number of different ways. So here's a couple of examples. So we work with, with content owners to help them understand audience engagement with new characters as they come onto screen. Uh, we also work with those same content owners in understanding how the level of engagement changes from viewing the content and as they enter into a commercial environment. Is the engagement dropping off? Is there, is there a certain emotional response that, that's, that's important for them to understand? Um, we work with, with, with clients on, on brand recall and the emotional triggers that drive brand recall. Um, you know, we work with clients to understand purchase intent and the emotional kind of indicators that drive to a higher likelihood to purchase a product. And recently we just released a study um, with, with another client of ours looking at the overall kind of emotional triggers that lead to virality, people to wanting to share content. They're so engaged, they're so into it that they are actually now driven to share and there are consistent patterns in emotional engagement that show a, a likelihood to share and a, a likelihood for something to go viral. So again, you know, w what we've done in the past couple of years is, is the work I just described. You know, we've, and in the process, we've built up a tremendous database of, of over a billion emotion data points. Um, we've, we've recorded over a million face videos. We've tested over 6,000 ads. We've worked with 300 clients, and we worked in 62 different countries. Um, so that data is, is really allowing us to build new products and take it to the next level, which is really what this slide is trying to capture, which is we don't think of ourselves as an ad analytics solution. We think of ourselves as the emotion layer, right? We think of ourselves as being the layer between the consumer and all of the digital experiences that are around that consumer and really informing the, 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 the insights as to how that, that layer, how that interaction is actually making consumers feel and ultimately how that, that feeling drives you know, that, that, that engagement or that experience to a certain level that the platform owner really needs to know about um, and we provide that data to them, and we see that happening in more and more environments um, as we're already working on some of these currently in the labs um, over the next couple of years. And so that's really, that's really us. Thank you, Nick. Thank you.
I would like to um, send a message to my husband with the, like, so he knows how I'm feeling. Yeah. Exactly. Can I do that? Totally <laughs> and possible. I wanted to mention also that Nick has about 20 years of experience in a variety of businesses. So you're starting to see these really smart technology companies apply business smarts in our vertical to really sophisticated technology. So it's not just cool facial tracking, but it's facial tracking that's relevant to marketing. So thank you. Let's have a big hand for Nick.